Um, so good morning, everybody. My name is Brenna Smith. I'm the communications manager for GSHOM. Um, if you were on the kickoff yesterday, you probably saw my Facebook profile, GS Brenna Smith. Um, that's how we ran the live. So if you go back to that Facebook group, you can um, watch the recording on that Facebook group. Um, I am super, super excited to chat with all of you today about um, the power of your voice and how we can really work together to grow Girl Scouting in each of our communities. Um, a couple just kind of housekeeping things before we get started. Um, one thing that I would love is if you um, write in the chat box, you know, if something really resonates with you, if, if you have a question about anything, um, I, I would love for you all to just light up that chat box so that we can um, communicate while I'm presenting. And of course, you know, towards the end or even throughout, I would be so happy um, if anybody, you know, wants to unmute and ask a question and have a little conversation. I think um, one thing with volunteers that I have learned is that sometimes the best way for volunteers to learn is to really be in conversation with other volunteers. And so I always want to um, provide that space to make sure that you all can interact and share best practices and or ask questions that I'm happy to field or perhaps that other volunteers would have, you know, a different way that we haven't thought of before. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am going to share my screen. If I can find the, uh, the right screen to share. All right, here we go. So can you all see, you should see a slide that says the power of your voice. Awesome, thank you. Um, let's see, I'm gonna open the chat box. That way I can see if anything pops up while we are chip chatting. Okay. So today we're going to talk about the power of your voice and how um, we can grow Girl Scouting in our communities together because truly I think that most of us under, underestimate um, just how much power we have in being able to speak up for what we believe in and what we think is so important. Um, so like I mentioned, when we got started, my name is Brenna Smith. I'm the communications manager for GSHOM, um, and I am super excited to be chatting with you all today, working directly with volunteers and with girls. It's my favorite thing. Uh, my favorite part of the job is being able to work directly with all of you. So stuff like this is so fun and so rewarding to me, and I'm, I'm glad to be here with you all today. Um, I imagine that we'll probably talk through some of these things for about 20 ish minutes um, and then there will have time there will be time at the end to ask any questions that you might have but like I said feel free to kind of light up the chat box and you know if there's something that resonates with you you can write in there oh I love that or that's a great idea or oh you know I, I'm gonna try this and you know there's there's power in thinking as a group and coming up with different ideas as a group so um, I love that the chat box feature to kind of keep engagement high during the session as well. So to start us off, why use your voice? You know, why are we even talking about this today? And really right now what we're seeing, and I know that you all are likely experiencing this too, is that there's so much noise right now. And when I say noise, I'm talking about in the media, I'm talking about in our email inboxes. Um, I know when COVID started um, and, and when racial tensions kind of erupted, it's very likely that you got an email from every business that you have ever interacted with in some way, shape, or form, letting you know how they were reacting to this. Um, and that's part of, part of this noise that we're trying to cut through. Um, and when we're trying to grow Girl Scouting, we want to be sure that we can cut through that noise um, if we tackle it together and if we work together to cut through that noise. And so this provides a, a real sense of um, power for you. If, if you're using your voice in your community, you'll be able to spread the word about what your troop is doing, um, different projects, service projects that you're working on, um, awards that your girl might be earning. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
um, the next part that this can definitely help out with is your service unit. So a step up from um, your troop is that when you're using your voice to spread the word about Girl Scouting and all the things that are happening um, in Girl Scout world is that your service unit can then grow to become a really integral and connected part of the community. This ultimately helps to share the Girl Scout story from every perspective. Um, and this is critical right now because I, I know I have heard it, perhaps you have heard it too, of, oh, well, is Girl Scouts even around anymore? You know, is, can Girl Scouts even do anything right now? Um, and when we know that we can, of course it looks different, um, but when we are all kind of spreading this story from every perspective of our organization, that really helps to grow Girl Scouting as a whole. And to bring it back to the ultimate goal of everything that we do is that we always want to be able to serve more girls because girls need Girl Scouting. I know I don't have to explain to all of you the power of Girl Scouting and how much of an impact it has on girls and on us as adults who are, who are Girl Scouts. Um, but so in using your voice, that really drives that main goal um, of building more girls of courage, confidence, and character. Um, which at the end of the day, that's why we're all here. So now why you? Why you? Why you, Tina? Why you, Mariella? Why you, Christine? You, Susan? All of you and your specific voices. There are three really critical components when we're talking about influencing others. And when I say influencing, sometimes influencing or influencer can have a negative connotation. I just want you to think of it as a way of, um, you know, showing somebody how important Girl Scouting is, um, spreading the word, helping people to understand. So not necessarily like the negative connotation that you might associate with influencing, but just really helping people to understand. And those three critical components are that people want to do business or want to be in fellowship in partnership with people that they know, that they like, and that they trust. So people really need to know, like, and trust someone before they, wait, before they want to um, get involved with them. I think that this is something that um, really makes a lot of sense. Um, and, and this is why all of you and your voices are so critical to helping to, to spread Girl Scouting in our community. Um, because my team on the marketing team, you know, we can run Facebook ads, we can send emails, we can do all of those things. And don't get me wrong, those do help, but there's something so powerful of when your friend tells you, oh my gosh, I'm having this incredible experience, you know, spending time with my girl um, in Girl Scouts. And if it's your friend, um, that you know, that you like, that you trust, that's so much easier to um, believe that and, and say, okay, yeah, this is something that I want for my girl because my best friend says it's a good thing. On the flip side, I'm sure we can all think of people, um, maybe we know them, but we don't really like them. Uh, we, we don't, for some reason, we don't trust them. Um, and if they, if they give you a recommendation, are you going to jump right on that and, and go out and, and sign up for that, for that course, sign up for that, whatever it is that they're telling you about? Probably not. <laughs> You're going to say, okay, um, you know, thanks for letting me know. And then maybe in the back of your head, you're going to think, um, okay, yeah, I'm not doing that because I just don't trust um, what, what that Mariella has to say. Um, so that's really important when we're talking about knowing, liking, and trusting. The people in your community, the people around you, your friends, your family members, they know, they like, and they trust you. And that makes you so powerful to spread the word about Girl Scouting. Do you have any questions so far? I'm, I'm watching the chat. I don't see anything yet, but I want to take a sip of coffee and just see if there are any questions. All right, we shall continue on. So what does this look like? First of all, in your network. So um, particularly, I'm thinking about any social media channels that you have. These are really priceless. 
um, especially when you add your personal touch. And I'll show an example of, of what this looks like um, on the next slide. So for example, on Facebook, taking the time to just share what your troop is up to. Um, and that can be as simple as taking a photo of your Zoom screen. Obviously, you need to make sure that you have all the right permissions for photos for your girls. Um, I know that's not news to you, but I do need to say that. Um, you can just share what your troop is up to. Oh my gosh, you know, my girls, we had a, a virtual sleepover. I know that was one of the ideas that popped up on kickoff last night is doing a virtual sleepover with your troop. Um, here are some photos of what we're doing. The girls had a blast doing X, Y, Z, and we earned this badge. Just to, again, share that story of, of what's going on, what your troop is up to. Another thing that you can do on Facebook is share what, what GSHOM posts. Um, so from our main Facebook page, hopefully you all, you all like us on Facebook. If you don't, here's my shameless plug to go over to Facebook, search Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan and give us a like. Um, but that's, we have tons of content that are going, that's going up all the time that you can simply share um, and add a little comment to. Um, and I, again, I have an example of this that I'm going to show on the next slide. Instagram. I don't know if any of you are on Instagram. Um, Instagram can be really great for engaging people, especially with some of the stories features. Um, I'm not going to dive too, too deep into social media because there is a whole other session um, that Allie, who's a membership specialist from Lansing, um, she's have a meeting at noon. Dive into. Uh oh, somebody's got a meeting at noon. <laughs> Um, so I'm not going to dive too, too deep into social media, but it is really important. Um, that session I believe is tomorrow at 730. Tomorrow at 730. If you're interested, if you're interested. In, uh oh, somebody needs to mute. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wonder, are we good? Is the echo gone? Echo. Okay. Perfect. Um, so if you're really interested in doing kind of that deep dive into social media, definitely recommend signing up for um, that session with Allie. And then sharing with others via real life conversations. So obviously this might look different right now, just like so many other things that, that we have in our lives. Um, but don't underestimate the power of when you're catching up with your girlfriends, um, catching up with your friends from college, whatever it might be, just mentioning what you're up to. Like, hey, I'm working, I'm working with this troop, or oh, I work at the, I volunteer at the service unit level with Girl Scouts, um, and explain to them, like, here's what that means. Um, here's, you know, what, here's what I'm up to kind of thing. Again, that, that power of talking to the people that are in your network that know and like and trust you is huge. So a quick example of what I mean. Um, oh, thank you, Mariella. She put the information in the chat log about Allie's session that I just mentioned. Um, so what I'm, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about, you know, sharing something on Facebook and adding your personal touch. So this is something that I posted on my Facebook page this weekend. Um, it was something that GSUSA actually posted. Um, and if you didn't know, if you become a lifetime member before August 31st, um, you can choose one of these items for um, a free gift. Um, so you can get this baseball hat, um, the scarf, or if you're a graduating senior and you would want graduation, a graduation stole, um, you can get that. So I added my own flair to this post by saying, as the caption when I shared this post, I'm becoming a uh, excuse me, I'm becoming a lifetime member this year because I love Girl Scouts, but also because look at this hat and scarf, heart eyes emoji, green heart, and that that third emoji I don't know if you can tell or not is like the red salsa dancing lady that she's just a little sassy and fun, and I, I love to throw that emoji in anytime I can. And if you know me well, you know that that's like an emoji that's totally part of my personality. Um, and so I just posted it because truthfully, I was like, I love this hat. That's, <laughs> that's not the, the core reason why I'm becoming a Girl Scout uh, Lifetime member this year. But man, that was like a, a nice added touch that I was like, I need this hat. I'm, gonna, I'm signing up. I'm doing it this year. 
And what happened then was I had some of my friends, and this was not even the intent of my post, but some of my friends commented, I had no idea that this was a thing. I'm signing up immediately. And then I, I, I say, oh, you know, just so you know, you can get one of these goodies for free before August 31st. She says, that scarf though. One of my other friends, Stacy, she says, um, so I might have to do this. So again, this is just an example of if I had just shared this, um, shared this post without adding that personal flair um, that I added with the caption, probably wouldn't have uh, maybe caught anybody's eye. Um, it might not have made anybody stop their scroll um, to, to read what I had said, but because I added that, that little personal flair that took all of 10 seconds to add this, to this post, now I have two people who are like, well, I want to become a lifetime member. How do I do this? Um, and again, that, that wasn't even necessarily my intention, um, but wow, what a cool outcome. So that's just an example of when I'm talking about the power of your network, this is exactly the outcome that I'm, that I'm talking about. So any questions so far? All right. So next up, I want to talk about in your local community, um, because when we're talking about marketing at the council level, um, keep in mind that we cover 34 counties throughout the state. Um, so we're focusing really, really high level, not because um, we don't want to get deep into the local communities, but just because in terms of bandwidth, that can be really, really hard to get deep down into um, the very local resources. Um, and so you can really help to move the needle and to make Girl Scouting a big deal right in your hometown. Um, and the marketing team is here to support and I have an example of some things that we have provided to service units in the past. Um, an example of this is if there's a really great local newspaper that you know everybody in town reads this newspaper, um, we can think about ads or articles that we could post in those, newspa in those um, newspapers. One example is there's a, um, a service unit in the Ann Arbor region that reached out to me because they were wanting to put an article series in their local paper. I wrote the whole series for them um, based on their um, suggestions of what they were looking for. It was about eight articles that I wrote for them. They kind of proofread, gave me feedback, um, and we did that work for them, but they did the legwork of helping to get it into that newspaper. Um, and so in that way, it was a, a huge partnership between the marketing team here at Girl Scouts and that local service unit. Another aspect is with local TV stations. I know, for example, here, I'm based out of our Kalamazoo region. So for example, here, um, Channel 3 is something that is a really local channel that um, a lot of people in the area follow them on Facebook, watch them on TV. Um, and so that's something that, that we try to, try to keep a good beat on. Um, and we can run PSAs or public service announcements typically at no cost. Um, another thing is commercial spots. Um, and this is something that, again, when we're covering such a large geographic area, it just really helps to be able to know, okay, um, Tina says that in her community, channel seven is where it's at. If you're not on channel seven, you're nobody. Um, but it's hard to know that in depth of, of each of the communities and what those media outlets are. And then there's also local influencers. So again, I'll use um, Kalamazoo as an example since that's where I'm located. We have an influencer here, the Kalamazoo foodie, who she's so connected in the, in the neighborhood. She actually was a, um, one of our judges at our last Bake Off um, here in Kalamazoo. Um, and so that's a great example of a local influencer who, um, you know, she's not a nationwide name, but here in Kalamazoo, she's really, really well connected. So if there's a way for us to get connected with that local influencer, um, that's gonna be huge for us. And I bet that there's things that we just haven't thought of. So if, if you're listening to this list and you're like, wow, um, you know, Brenna totally missed the boat on, uh, for example, radio. 
um, radio is, is something that isn't on this specific list, but if there's, you know, one or two radio stations in your community that are huge, again, that's another opportunity for us to run a public service announcement um, at little to no cost. But again, we just need to know, like, what are those radio stations? And how can we partner together with you, the volunteers, to make this happen? So this is an example, um, and I know Linda is on this call. So Linda, I'm not sure if you um, were part of getting this ad together, but Skylar, who's a membership specialist out of our Ann Arbor region, she covers um, PHL, Pinckney, Hamburg, and Lakeland service unit, and they reached out because they were going to place an ad in um, a local paper, and Skylar reached out and said, hey, would the Marcom team be able to put this ad together for this service unit to place? And we said, absolutely, we can. Um, and within, you know, a day or two, we had this ad ready to go for the service unit. Um, and that's something that we are happy to do. So if your service unit is wanting to pay for um, an ad in your local paper and you need support in designing it or getting the information together, we are happy to, to do that for you and to create the ad for you um, so you don't have to worry about all the technical requirements and, and things of that nature. So um, now is the time when I would love to open it up for questions and or discussions. Um, you'll see on here on this email, uh, or not this email, on this slide, the marketing email that you can um, send us a message if you need support with something, um, if you would like a, an article series written, if you would like an ad created, if you just have an idea that you haven't seen us try out here at Council, um, we're happy to, to field those questions to help in any way that we can. Um, and so I'm going to stop sharing my screen in just a second, but um, this marketing at gshom.org, um, that goes to the entire Marcom team. So one of us is able to help out um, if there is something that you need assistance with. I will say that um, with the Marcom team, um, more notice is always better. So if you have um, an ad that you're wanting to run, let's say in um, most, most deadlines are passed for September editions at this point of newspapers and magazines. But if you're thinking about running an ad in October, um, now is a great time to reach out to us and say, hey, we're going to run this ad in October. Um, here are the, the specs, we call them, the, the measurements that we need, um, the technical things, um, and we can, we can create that for you. Um, and with that particular ad for um, the PHL service unit, um, they had just said, hey, we really want this ad that says this, that, and the other thing with, you know, a photo. Um, and we created based on what they requested. Um, so just, just an example of, of what we can do to help. So are there any questions, um, comments, things you want to want to share about your experience and using your voice? Any ideas you have? Linda says, looking forward to seeing the ad in September in Pinkney area. I'm excited to see it too. You'll have to send us a photo when it, when it goes to print so we can see what it looks like. Susan says, thanks for helping us to do a better job at the media stuff. I've appreciated using your shop to help my service unit. Love the informal troop level ideas. Yeah, I mean, at, at the local level, really what, what local newspapers want to hear is what your troop is doing. You know, at the local, um, the very local level, we can talk about um, the council level wide stuff, um, but at the end of the day, they wanna know what the girls right there in your community, what they're doing to change the world. Um, that's gonna be a great way um, to get kind of that that media coverage. Um, and if you need support with talking to media outlets, um, I am always here as a resource. And, um, you know, with the, especially at the local level, if you need help um, 
you know, getting in contact or if you have a contact and you would rather pass that contact off to me, even better. Because sometimes the hardest part is just finding that, um, that contact that's willing to chat with us and willing to run information. How big does the area reached need to be to get your help? Um, Cynthia, great question. Any size, um, if, it's, if it's a small, um, small little hometown, you know, uh, we're happy to help in any way that we can. Um, again, I'll just mention that we'll, we'll need some um, notice because our marketing team, we are three women strong, so we get a lot done, but um, there are a lot of demands for our time. So we're happy to help with any size because, um, you know, when we talk about how many girls are in a community. Um, if there are a lot of girls in the community that we should be serving or could be serving, then we want to get into that market in any way that we can. So we're happy to help with that. Any should others? Oh, sorry, was somebody asking something? All right. Well, any other last minute questions? If anybody wants to unmute and ask a question, you're more than welcome to do that too. Any pro tips, things that have worked well in your, your areas in the past? I'm sorry, I'm just joining the group. I had a, a problem with my technology and just getting the link. Um, I know you can't like do a rewind, but can you give me in general some of the things that you guys were going over? Sure, Shana Lear. I'm glad you were able to join us. Um, Thank you. The good news is that this session is recorded um, and it will go up on our YouTube channel. So for this session and for all other sessions this week, um, you can catch the replay on our YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com slash GSHOM. Um, and we'll get a Facebook post up as well when all the sessions are ready to go um, on YouTube. But basically, we've talked about the importance of um, really sharing the message of Girl Scouting at the local level um, and the fact that you as troop leaders or as service unit managers um, can partner together with the MARCOM team here at GSHOM. Um, and we're happy to do things like um, create, a, create an ad for your um, local newspaper or to help write an article series um, or anything of that nature. Um, one other quick thing that I wanted to show um, that I'm glad, oh, I'm going to share my screen really quick. It just says one other um, resource that's available. So on our website, um, we do have an entire social media toolkit available. So when you're on, this is just the main page of our website. If you go to resources and then social media toolkit, um, our amazing digital media specialist, Kate, created all of these um, assets for you all to use. So um, we've got stuff about membership. We've got um, treats and reads and um, cookies things that, that you can use, um, all of that good stuff. So I wanted to mention that as well, because sometimes, you know, you'll just want a graphic you can use, and then you can add your own caption, add your own, um, that personal flair that I talked about that's so important. Um, so you can download those right from our website and get them posted on Facebook with your own caption as well. So any other questions? comments, pro tips. All right. Well, if any of you need any assistance, need any support, um, we are here to support you as our volunteers because really you all make the magic happen and we wanna make sure that we're providing the support that you need. So um, feel free to email marketing at gshom.org um, and that will go to my whole team um, and we will get back with you as soon as we can. So if there are no other questions, I hope you all have an amazing day and maybe we'll see you on a future session this week. Thank you so much, Brenna. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Brenna.